Welcome back to PowerboatOne.com. As you can see, we've got our LS sitting in our boat. What we're gonna do is run through kind of how the rail kit goes in, what kind of degrees you should run, what kind of angles there should be to make the installation nice and smooth for you. Now let's get started. To start with, we're gonna use our level finder. We're gonna check out what angle the pump is in at, and that'll give us a reference point to where we're gonna put the engine at. Let's go check it. Looks like we're about 2.2 degrees. Now that we've checked our pump angle and we're at 2.2 degrees, we're going to go and check the engine angle and it should be about the same as what the pump angle is. The engine angle going off the motor plate, which is even with the back of the block, we're at 87.2, which is going to give us about half a degree of fall in this area right here and that's going to put us a little bit of a bind onto our pump shaft which will keep it from rattling. You can go straight up with it you know as long as the engine is in the same level as the pump shafts in it. I'm just doing a half degree to keep some rattle out. These motor mounts they're actually cut on a four degree angle so we've got our rail in here about 1.8 which is about the two degree differences we had here and our engine was at 2.8 so that would make these two and two so that's why our angle lines up on this four degree mount. The way we come about getting this in and setting the rails is I use this max pivot which is really nice because as you spin it you can actually change the degree of the engine. So we slid the engine all the way back on the pump until it stopped and then brought it forwards about an eighth of an inch and that's where we wanted the engine to set. The first line is when the engine was all the way back the second line is where we moved it forwards and that's where we wanted it to sit on the spline. That way as the pump shaft moves around it's not going to push on the back of the crankshaft and then push on the thrust bearing inside. Then when we had the engine set there we ran our rails up to the blocks and then we marked our holes, drilled our holes, mounted our rails on, dropped the engine down in place back into that eighth inch where we wanted it to be, set the motor feet down on the rails and then we marked our holes, drilled our holes, bolted everything in place really simple installation process. We'll see you next time on PowerballOne.com.